She's a 10-time Grammy winner who's never hesitated to write songs about her romances with famous men. But if Taylor Swift started out as an innocent country pop teen with an easily broken heart, she's evolved into a take-no-prisoners woman who loves fiercely and on her own terms. Watch this. From the beginning, the superstar didn't hesitate to immortalize a love story in song, even the unrequited ones. It was about a guy that I liked, and I never told him, but I put his name in this song, so he inevitably knows now. In 2008, when Taylor fell for Joe Jonas, they only dated for a few months, but the singer was so heartbroken when he ended things, she penned her song Forever and Always about the boy bander. She later said, Forever and Always is about when I was in a relationship with someone and I was just watching him slowly slip away. In 2009, it was a tale of two Taylors when the pop star met Taylor Lautner on the set of the movie Valentine's Day and punctuated their short-lived romance by writing her hit Back to December about him. But by early 2010, she was briefly linked to John Mayer and immortalized her feelings about their failed relationship with the song Dear John. The infamous Lothario may have no problem dishing on his own exes, like Jessica Simpson and Jennifer Aniston, but he later complained to Rolling Stone that T-Swift's song humiliated him. Really, John? In early 2011, a whirlwind fling with Jake Gyllenhaal ended and the star song We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together was believed to be about him. Fans considered it confirmed when her music video for the tune featured her wearing a scarf just like the one she was seen wearing on a date with Jake. In 2012, she was going in one direction with heartthrob Harry Styles, but when that romance derailed, she revenge penned I Knew You Were Trouble about him. In 2015, she began a long relationship with Scottish DJ Calvin Harris, but even though the breakup was pretty peaceful, things turned ugly when news was leaked that Taylor, using a fake name, had secretly written the smash hit Harris produced for Rihanna, This Is What You Came For. Harris went off on Taylor on Twitter, accusing her of making him look bad and of needing someone to try and bury like Katy Perry. Did our girl shake it off? That would be a hell no. In 2017, she served up a heaping helping of revenge to Harris with her song, Look What You Made Me Do. Since then, T-Swift's been hot and heavy with British actor Joe Alwyn. But is there still a blank space waiting for her to write another breakup song? Only time will tell. Wow, that girl doesn't let off, any grass grow underneath her feet. First off, I cannot believe that timeline. Right. I mean, John Mayer was 2010, eight I know. years ago? Well, you know, nine years ago now. Well, you know, with Joe Alwyn, her current boyfriend, he stars in The Favorite, and a lot of people think that's why Taylor Swift showed up at the Golden Globes, is a surprise performer. But actually, she was there to present with Idris Elba because they're co-starring in Cats. They're doing a movie on Cats. Oh,